Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew, and I'm here to react to Heartstopper Season 3, Episode 6. <gasps> oh, almost at the end of the season, you guys. I'm very excited to see what's going to happen here. Uh, this season has been so sad, but yeah, I'm excited to watch more. Three more episodes. Uh, scary, excited, sad, all that stuff. All the emotions. So uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Patreon, link down below in the description box if you want to see these episodes early and unedited. If you're watching this on YouTube right now then prob and it just aired, then probably the finale is already on Patreon. It should be, so go check it out. Um, and yeah, that's it. I uh, hope you enjoy this, and let's get right into it because I'm really excited to see what happens. So without further ado, here we go. It's been four months since you left Impatient. Yeah, I should bake a cake or something. Oh, we're in April now. Wow, what, the time jump's going on. Sarcastic. But that's actually a lovely idea. Too bad I was being sarcastic. <laughs> but it'd be nice you settle back in the school in January. I'm here. Want to talk about what happened the past couple months? Whatever you need. Aww. Thanks. Go get him. I love this teacher. Whose name I can't remember. Aww, look at all these people happy to see him, be nice. Love it. Five minute break, all right, Charlie. Don't push yourself too hard. It's all, all the support, it's fantastic. You okay? Yeah. It's already about to make me cry. I had a lot of help. I still relapsed two weeks after. Oh, you did? It happens, it's normal. We talked about it. But you oh. continue to criticize yourself. I said I can't. Oh God. You're making me feel like shit. You said that and made me feel insane. Just fuck off. Oh. Oh no. I hated that. Self so harm relapses are normal, and they don't negate any progress. I know. You are three months clean. That's our second bit of progress, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm fine. Happy. <laughs> yeah, delighted. <laughs> so, progress now. Me and Nick. Uh, I don't know. You and Nick. No, 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 that's great. Mm. So, you feel you and Nick have progressed in your relationship? Yeah. Mm. What? Maybe since that night of the argument. I guess we feel a lot closer. That's nice. I mean... You see me at my absolute rock bottom and hasn't run away screaming. <laughs> That's always fair. When a guy sees you at rock bottom and, and still stays, you know. We can say that until you're 10 years in and you're having marital problems. <laughs> but I expect your progress has allowed you to deepen your connection with him. Yeah. If your intrusive thoughts have lessened, you've got more energy to give to your relationship. That is true, yeah. When you're done thinking about all the bad stuff, you can think about the good stuff. <laughs> More energy. Yeah. <laughs> I really don't want to be defined by the fact that I was bullied at 14 and then had one toxic ex-boyfriend. But trauma doesn't define you. Yeah, it doesn't. But it also doesn't vanish in five minutes, so... Yeah. So give yourself some grace. I love this man. And you've got people around you. He really makes me want a therapist. Do you practice your motivational pep talks or do they just come to you in the moment? <laughs> no, they just come to me. I'm just a talented person. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think we're out of time here, so I'll see you next week. Oh, and enjoy your birthday and party hard. Oh, it's his birthday. It's one of the big ones. Wow. Party. Oh. Oh, I'm scared now. Wow, this captures your spirit as well as your likeness. Miss... How come you never compliment my work? <laughs> I'd compliment your work if you could actually show me a completed piece. <laughs> Hell, but I do want you to think about whether it's something you feel comfortable with. I'll email you the details. Good for her, getting you all famous and all. But she's got to decide if she really wants so that. Exciting. Rich, you're famous. I'm not famous. Yes, you are. I'm not. Finish your painting. <laughs> Cheers. So, knuckle down, work hard. Don't forget to have some fun. Yeah, have some fun. Happy birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. Are you ever going to get tired of doing that? No. Nope. Absolutely not. No. But I did get you a present. Okay. Oh. 
What's that Instagram famous historian you like? Jack Maddox? He's Interesting. He's doing a book signing on Sunday. So I think oh, we could go after this is Jonathan Bailey, isn't it? We get to meet him. Yeah. I love oh, that... you so much. Well, clearly not as much as Jack Maddox. <laughs> I'll take it. They have, they have a lot of energy going on here. Let's not do this in the school, though, you guys. Be careful. We should, we should probably... They're getting closer and closer to having sex, aren't they? It's got to happen in one of these episodes for the finale, right? And it got really intense really quickly. And then it stopped, and it was kind of awkward and overwhelming. Do you want to say it? Or should I? No, I think he's nearly worked out for himself. <laughs> Charlie. Have you considered the idea that you and Nick are ready to take things further? Uh, He's talking about having sex. Have you really? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's obvious that we both want to, and it's not like we've done nothing. I mean, it's all been over the clothes, but sometimes when we're making out, we... Uh, uh, don't, don't need the details. Please spare us the details. Yeah. What? No, I want all the details. <laughs> I'm just scared that he's not ready to... And I'm scared that I'm not going to know what I'm doing. And I'm scared that he's going to take one look at me and... Well... When me and Al started having it's because his body. It was in the spur of the moment. An outburst of fiery passion in the light oh, of the Lord. Nearest fireworks. Yes, Tal, we've all heard this story before. <laughs> I'm about Charlie. You know what? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Get out. I need to change. What? We're talking about sex. No, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Oh, wait. Self harmed himself. Yeah, really Thank you. Everyone, uh, my parents are out, but please don't break anything or be sick anywhere, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just need a night off from everything. Uh, uh, we're making a potion that the loser has to drink. Oh, God. Oh, it does not I, I think. I, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like you should probably talk to her. Probably, about. yeah. This trick is like a more fun moment. Off our summer fate slot, and you're literally the only person we know. I, I don't know. I don't really like performing in front of people. Well, mm, think same here. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. What is in that? Oh. Everything. Oh. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Charlie. Time's break. Happy birthday to you. Yay. It's okay, Charlie. It's okay. I can do it. I want to try. Okay. Hello. Oh, this guy. Charlie, do you have a friend we don't know about? <laughs> Hi, Michael. Happy birthday. Um, who, who is this, Michael? It's when everything starts to make sense. Or when nothing makes any sense anymore. <laughs> okay. Kind of the same feeling either way. Beautiful chaos. Oh, okay, Michael. Yeah, thanks. A little weird. Uh, this is for you. I found him at a charity shop and he just had your energy, so yeah. I figured uh, he belonged oh, with you. Okay. Also, it made me sad seeing him sitting on a shelf on his own, so, uh, okay. Oh, these two. Okay. Have a fun time. <laughs> okay. See Tori's boyfriend. She won't confirm whether they're dating or not. <laughs> so, yeah. Meow. Meow. <laughs> the little dude camping in the backyard. That's so nice. So sweet. I think I should do it. It's a really cool opportunity. I think so, too. You're so talented, and the world needs to know. <laughs> it's going to be a whole chapter. No, 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 no. I hope all my drink. Oh, you guys aren't awkward at all. You guys kissed during New Year's. What happened? I have no idea who I am. Aww. I don't really know much about anything at the moment, actually. She's trying to figure out who she is, what she wants. It's but what I do know. Hard to do. It's, I don't want to keep hurting you. Aww. No. I don't think I could ever hate you. Aww. I like these two. You helped me realize something. As friends or as girlfriends? 
Ja, nein, nein. Mm. I like us better as friends. I like the idea of keeping them as friends, but that's fine. You don't always have to date. They have these kind of feelings, but it's complicated, and they might just be better as friends. That's fine. If it moves something on later on, fine. <laughs> I'm actually shocked Charlie's parents, especially mom, wouldn't allow this party to happen while they're out of the gone. Like, really? Oh. Oh, song choice. Copyright will hate it. Look at these two weirdos. <laughs> she, oh, she's getting real drunk. A history, like dark academia vibes. <laughs> yeah, totally. Now I'm thinking of doing like business or politics. Business or politics. Try and get in somewhere local, so I can stay here. We were just so close to Charlie. Guys, can we not talk about uni stuff? Like she's she's stressing out about all of it. Oh. Yeah, you're doing all that office bridge stuff. Yeah, Tar has been going through a lot this season, and we haven't really looked at it, discussed it. So a panic attack. Oh. I think you're having a panic attack when there are having thoughts that I can't control. But let's do some deep breaths together. Breathe in for three. Oh, look at Charlie helping Tara out. Chilling, we've had a few drinks, but everything's fine. Everything's good. Hey, Tara. Hey. I think she finally needs to talk to someone about this. Amazing. That was. I'm so drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you. I like you too. Don't ever leave me. Oh. <laughs> Even me. I get to do things. Ooh. Do I things. Do things. <laughs> Have sex. <laughs> <laughs> think about it all the time. Mm. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. You guys are teenage boys, of course you do. I know I wasn't ready in Paris, but it was a long time ago. It feels like ages ago. We could go upstairs. <laughs> do you really want your first night to be when you're drunk, though? You're incredibly drunk. Yeah. When I'm sober, I'm scared that. Mm, yeah. That you might just. The liquid courage, but maybe not like drunk, drunk. Maybe just tipsy. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's about to vomit. He's about to vomit. Turn him around. Turn him around to yeah, the sink. Um, Turn him around. To the toilet. Come on. Oh. Oh damn. A little messy. Uh, oh, oh god, oh god. Wait, hold your hair back. <laughs> oh, I feel so ill. The alcohol's fun until it's not. You remember last night? I remember we're hanging around in the garden. <laughs> and then we were. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I'm glad you brought it up. Now that it's been, now you guys can have a discussion about it. Morning, campers. <laughs> Mum and Dad will be back in half an hour. Oh no! Just so you know. Oh God. You need to clear up. Yeah. His story. I could make egg on toast. I feel like you guys need the egg on toast. Yeah, I think egg on toast is good. Good idea. Did he stay over? Yeah. Ooh. So, I can have friends over too. <laughs> yeah, friends. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Good for Tori. I'm so happy for her. Famous artist. Now we're artists for 
a big fuss it's a big and if you're lost for words you can just talk about what great parents we are oh we've actually seen her parents we've never really seen her parents before <laughs> i don't think we've ever seen them Oh, here's the Jack Maddox. Are you ready to meet the love of your life? He's so jealous. <laughs> He's so jealous. I'm allowed to have a crush on a celebrity. I can't believe I'm about to be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> but look how look at him. Like, how could you not be a little jealous of that? How could you not love him? <laughs> oh my god, he's so hot. He's so good to see classical art of history, philosophy, and of literature. It's okay. Just make sure you speak nice. Um, just wanting to share it with my friends and family. But it just started to get more and more likes, and now I have over 50,000 followers. That's nice. amazing. I'm very proud to be trans. It's a big part of who I am, so I like to explore and express that in the art that I create. And that's Doing so a great job here, Elle. Uh, last week, we had a feminist speaker on the show who talked to us about the importance of same-sex spaces. I think it's so important we hear okay, all... Okay, this is... I'd love to hear your thoughts on the debate. This is quite a... Trans people on a debate yeah. where humans believe that the presence of gender-neutral bathrooms will increase cases of sexual assault against women. I'm very... This is a to big, tough thoughts. topic for someone to bring a kid in to talk about their art. Who's transphobic, then? It's a bit of a heavy topic, isn't it? Let's move on to something else. Yeah, you went real for the heavy topic like right away. About the potential new law, which could come in um, soon. I think I need to go. I'm sorry if I offended you. Pull yourself out of there, yeah. If you're not feeling comfortable, don't stay there. Creativeness and manipulative and... Uh... Yeah. You, you will bring in and talk about her art, and instead it's turned into a political... Like debate here. You'll be hearing from me. That was unprofessional of them. Poor L. You all know you can't trust a Mesopotamian to source your copy of God. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's okay, like what? And I'm 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 with you there, Nick. Uh yes, young man in the denim jacket. <laughs> He's so flustered. Study hard. And don't ignore your Latin vocab. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, me, no, um, nothing. Yes. Um, really, really interesting. <laughs> He's a little flustered too. The Mesopotamian joke was. <laughs> Thanks. Nick. You're very welcome. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, Nick. Yeah, he's really hot. Oh <laughs> he got so flustered, it's so adorable. Ooh. Is it about to happen? Oh, oh, no. Dark thoughts, dark thoughts. Uh, I'm getting nervous. He's so worried about his body. Oh god. Oh. I wish it stop. No, no. I think. Wait. Yeah. He's not ready. Please, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Had a nice time today. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Awkward. It's good you guys didn't go too far there. I'm nervous about taking my shirt off. Wait. Good to say I, it. Good to say it out loud. Talk about it. Jack Maddox or anything. And he knows that. He knows you. Charlie, and you know I really fancy you. Like, infinitely more than Jack Maddox. Mm-hmm. Even though he's got a six-pack. But you guys have this deep connection. I don't care about that. I like you. You guys have a beyond physical attraction. I really did want to carry on. I really want. Mom, have you seen 
my laptop charger. <laughs> well, not today now. Maybe just not at your house though. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> then you're safe. And as long as you practice safe sex. Yes. You can Amen. get some pre-condoms from the reception. I, I, <laughs> just wish I was more confident. Charlie. You'll build the confidence. Aren't you the one who confessed your feelings to Nick? That's first, true. When you didn't even know whether he liked you back. Yeah, you have more confidence than you realize. Yeah, you kissed him first. You told him I love you first. Feel confident. That's just a challenge you're gonna have to face. And not just with Nick, but with every aspect of your life. Yeah. But okay. So this was all about that time. Gosh, why can't I do that? Okay. That time of the year after he came back from the place, and now he's been three months doing well after leaving. He had a setback at some point. It was really hard to see that him yell at Nick like that. It was a setback, but he, it worked out. He worked. It all. They figured. It, he figured it out. Um, he's talking about his emotions. He's talking about how he feels. He's doing things, things to make better. He and Nick are having really are getting very close to each other, which is nice. Um, we saw Jack Maddox, aka Jonathan Bailey. It was a very brief cameo, but I will take it anyway because God, he's hot. Um, we also had Charlie's birthday. All sorts of fun, party and drinking for everyone. Um, um. Tori has a friend, a friend, Michael, who we saw at the New Year's party, and I guess they're they're there's something they're both a little weird, so it fits. It fits. Um and then we have freaking um um got Tara. Tara. Oh she she we've seen her like in the side or the back things, little moments all season long of her like looking freaked out and stressed out and that we've yet to actually like delve into it and we just kind of got a bigger glimpse of it this episode of her having a panic attack and, and I relate to that so much because when I get stressed out I hold it all in I keep pushing just like her, she does I don't say anything and eventually it, at some point the dam always breaks it always does can't help it but I love that Charlie was the one to help her because he's been learning these strategies to help out in therapy and that he stepped up and helped. I could see him be, um, like becoming a therapist or something someday. I could see that. He's very friendly. People trust him. It's He's gone through his own stuff that he can relate. I could see that for him. Or social worker, something like that route. I could see it. Um, Imogen and Sahar are still working out i think they're they've decided for now to just be friends which i think is good things are a little complicated imogen doesn't know who she is what she wants so i think it's good not to make things messy while she's figuring that out maybe when she figures things out they can discuss again but i think it's good for now just to stay friends and then um and then l l l went on an interview radio interview just to talk about her being a social media influence now, becoming social media famous from her art, local teenage artist becoming famous on social media. That's what it's supposed to be about. That's what they told her. And it becomes, they ambush her with all these political questions, trying to get her to make, take a side and make a, get a quote that will get people upset, that will get a discussion going. I'm like, that's not what she was brought here. That's not what it's supposed to be. And it's quite an ambush to get someone just to come and talk about their art and then to make them a political, make them, make them a political like person. Like, that's not what she wants to be. She never chose to be someone who's there because she's transgender. And that's not her whole life story about, her whole life story is not being transgender and fighting for transgender rights. If she doesn't want to do that, she doesn't want to do that. Let's not force her into it. It's rude. I feel bad for her. She thought this was a nice little thing. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen with that. We have two episodes left, though. Two episodes. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I have a feeling SEX is coming. 
I'm guessing the finale. I'm intrigued to see how that's going to go. Um, with really all the characters, I want to see what's going to happen. Two episodes closing things up. I don't quite know. I have a feeling we'll end with the end of the year. Graduation. Because we'll skip in time like this. Every episode is a couple months, really. It's crazy. I can't wait, though. Two more episodes. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Patreon, all that fun stuff. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.